The unit we're showing you today is our two-function ATEX drum rotator. This has powered lift and powered tip of the drum. It also has a load cell weighing system for weighing the drum. To start with, we take the unit, push it forwards until the band goes around the drum. Want the band nice and central in the middle of the drum, so halfway in between. We take our strap and pass it around the front of the band and hook it on. We then take our ratchet, pull any slack out so the ratchet has no slack in it, and then we move the handle like so. It doesn't need to be too tight just to grip the drum. We then have a rim clamp, we lift this up and secure it over the top of the drum. This rim clamp is to prevent any slippage of the drum as we tip it upside down. So the rim clamp's nice and secure, our band's secure around the belly of the drum. We then go to the rear, we have our lift lever and an operate button. So we press operate with one finger, we then pull the lift lever. Once raised, we can push the unit forwards, just so the drum is touching our vessel. About there will do. Then press the operate button again, and now we want to tip forwards into the vessel. Once empty, we can return the drum to a vertical. And we can begin to lower it down. We'll now get another drum and we'll also show you the weight scale system. We've now got a blue Mauser drum secured into the head. This drum's full of water. This is our load cell telemetry device. And this mobile device is measuring the weight of the drum and its contents. So on this display, it's saying that the weight is 176.4 kilograms. So that's the weight of the drum and the liquid inside. What we can do now is we can empty the drum and then it will give us the weight of the empty drum. So we raise the height, we press the operate button, and then our tip function. On our weigh display now, it's saying 7.7 .7 kilograms. So that means the empty drum weighs 7.7 .7 kilos. With the weighing device, this can be connected to base stations on computers. So if you want to log the data, this can be done uh, with various third party data logging software. We're now looking at the rear control panel. To operate either of the two functions, we press this operate button down. The left lever is our lift and lower, and the right lever is our tip forwards and our return lever. So we press operate, and then pull the lever backwards to lift. When we let go of the lever, the function stops. Push forward to lower. Push forward here to tip and pull backwards to return. When we're finished operating the levers, we can let go of the operate button. On the left, we have an emergency stop. Press this down and this will stop all functions. Twist to reset the emergency stop. 